the Bonneville Salt Flats in western Utah, one of the wonders of the world. For more than a century, men and machines have come to Bonneville with one objective, to go fast. During the various annual competitions, dozens of categories of vehicles are primed and head down the salt in search of more miles per hour. Now, yet another chapter in the pursuit to be fastest. This time, human power. Denise Mueller of California readies for a historical journey down the salt. The Project Speed Team. The engine on the bicycle, Denise Mueller. The vehicle, a Hone Adventure seriously modified Range Rover Sport SVR, powered by Silence. The protocol for Bonneville racers is to plan a flight of runs, slowly building up speed until you lay it on the line. As Denise accelerates through 100 miles per hour on one of her early runs, some perspective is in order. The Baja Peninsula, Mexico, 1983. The Bonneville salt flats are flooded, but a land speed record attempt won't wait. The human engine is John Howard, three times an Olympic cyclist and an Ironman champion. At higher speeds, the undulations in the road make it difficult for Howard to stay in the slipstream. Their fastest run, 124 miles per hour. Two years later, 1985, the salt flats have dried out. Howard's years of racing savvy and mental discipline come together with a record ride down the salt, 152.2 miles per hour. 10 years later, professional cyclist Fred Rumpelberg of Holland wants to be fastest. The Rumpelberg Strasbourg team are finely tuned and ready to hit it. They cover the final mile in 21 seconds for a new record of 166 miles per hour. John Howard and Fred Rumpelberg knew there would be those that follow. The synthesis of man and machine calls out to the challengers. And Denise Mueller has answered. Coached by John Howard, Denise is a national level cyclist. This video features shots from their various runs down the salt. Shea Holbrook, professional racing driver, takes the wheel. In the other seat, American land speed record holder, John Howard. They accelerate through 145 miles per hour. On their final run, they hit 147.7 miles per hour and decide they have pushed the vehicle and Denise to the max of their potential in this, their first visit to Bonneville. The Project Speed Team is now on the leaderboard behind Fred Rumpelberg and John Howard. Stay tuned. The plans are already in place for their next visit to the Salt. This time, the top of the podium calls.